Peace, 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 perfect balance. Right now I'm trying to adjust this phone real quick. Well, I guess I can't adjust it to zoom in. But uh, to my primary progressive multiple sclerosis people, my people who having all these neurological problems and can't walk and function anymore. The doctors, everybody had given up on me, was like, he never going to walk again, he going to die, he going to do this. But you know what I had to do? I said, forget what everybody else said, has to say. What does Steven have to say? What do I have to say? How much strength do I have inside of me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So, I just want to show y'all something real quick. Yes, this is my walker. I have to use my walker. Doctor said I would never walk again and be forced into a wheelchair and then die. That's what I was told. Watch this. I'm going to use my walker to back up. Hopefully y'all can see this. Okay. I might even fall down, but I'm just saying I'm doing what they said I couldn't do. Primary progressive multiple sclerosis. I had lost the use of my legs. I lost my wife, left me, took my kids, thought I was going to die. Whatever. But I re-erected, man. I re-resurrected. Check this out. Standing on my own. Little off balance, but, I, but I'm standing on my own. Watch this. One step at a time. Don't be afraid to fall. Keep doing it. Bring that old muscle memory back. You know? Use my legs. You know? <laughs> this is a lot of fucking improvement. This is a lot of improvement. This is better than nothing. This is better than I was before. Three years, stuck on the couch, couldn't move. Was paralyzed, would, would, would lose my, would stop breathing in my sleep and everything, man. But I'm sleeping good. I'm breathing through my sleeping. I'm moving. You know? Yeah. I'm, I'm moving. I can stand straight up. When I used to be, I used to be bent over like this all the time. People tell me, oh, what's wrong, Steve? People coming to cry. I used to be all bent down like this. But you know what I had to realize? I had to relax. I had to relax all my muscles. I had to let people know, stop telling me that weak shit. I'm a strong person. I don't want to hear that weak stuff. Don't come around me crying. If you want to come around me, be strong for me. That's how you help me out. Be strong for me. Not weak, not crying, not, glo not being gloomy and stuff. Because when you're all mad and sad and there's no hope, you know what happens? Your body tenses up. You tense up, you can't relax. So the key is to start relaxing. Let me come back to y'all, man. But anyways, perfect balance, though. Past, present, and future. To my man, Jason. Thank you for donating $100 to my GoFundMe account, man. I, I really appreciate that. Um, today is Sunday. I won't be able to... to, to, to use that money until Wednesday. Um, I thank you, man. That's going to help me to get some more supplements. It's going to help me. I need some ankle weights because my legs have no muscles in them. My thighs have no muscles. My, my calves <laughs> is sticking in my thighs, man. That's crazy, right? I used to be 280 pounds. Used to bench like my most was benching. My max was like 603 pounds. You know, I, I, shit, how much did you squat, Steve, man? Oh, wow, I, I squat a lot. Yeah, well, I used to, but it's going to come back, though. Yeah, so y'all going through this stuff, keep the faith. Believe in yourself. Take control, take, take your life back. Stop giving your, when, when I say life, that means energy. 
Stop giving your energy over to doctors and stop giving your energy away. Keep it. Build it up, man. That's how you get strength. That's how you be able to start to use your legs again. Start to get some life back up in you. You know what I'm saying? I might even fall down on camera, but I'm cool with it because I know to get back up and keep moving and all this is beneficial. So for y'all going through stuff, health problems, especially primary progressive multiple sclerosis, because this, this, this disability or disease is not fun, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's not fun. And look, I stood straight up. Man, I'm sorry. I'm a little excited, man. It's, it's, this, this don't happen all the time to me, with me. Yeah, man. But keep moving, people. Keep moving. Keep moving and grooving. You see? No? I got a little three-year-old boy. He need a father. He want to run. He want to climb trees. He want to do things. He don't want to sit in the house and watch cartoons all day and wait till when mommy come home from work. And then by the time she come home from work, it's dark. He still ain't been outside the house and stuff because he been cooped up in the house with daddy all day. You know, but anyways, yeah, life is life. Shit go on, man. It's how you perceive it. It's how you look at it. It's what you, it's, 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 it's that, man, I'm like lost for words. It's, it's about how you see it. It's your perception. You can think everything all negative and bad, or you can think things are good and positive and beneficial. It's up to you. Not nobody else. Donald Trump can't, can't whatever. Uh, Obama can't whatever. Preacher man can't whatever. It's up to you. Either you dwell in the positivity and the positive stuff and growth and development, or you sit there and you wither away, or you sit there and you you piss poor misery and stuff. You know, my father before he passed, he taught me some he taught me some principles about the peas. Oh man, wow oh, man, he 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 said. Piss, poor, performance. Nah, that's not what he said. What my father say? Come on, Dad. What you tell me, man? Tell me, tell me. What you tell me, Dad? What do you tell me? Proper. What you tell me? Nah, he told me about the peace. Proper education always corrects errors. Uh, no, he said, um, Dad, what did he say? He said, piss, poor, Performance it nah man, what did he say? Anyways, when I when it when it come to me, because I know it's gonna come to me, I'll let you know what he said. But in the meantime, keep moving, do squats, your legs. I was not doing this before. I used to have to do the squat stuff with the walker. <laughs> I don't have to use it no more. I'm not squat squatting all the way down, like you know, but I'm squatting some. I'm building them thighs and stuff up. That's what you gotta do. You gotta work them muscles. You gotta work the brain muscles. You gotta you gotta clean up the gut. You can't keep sticking all that dirty stuff in your gut in your mouth and, and letting it go in your belly, thinking it's helpful, healthy, because you feel full when it's probably killing you off. See, when we put these nasty things in our mouth, right? See, these things have a little bacteria and viruses in them, right? Those bacteria and viruses, they create this slimy substance called a biofilm. When you are full of biofilms, your body cannot function properly. Because those things in those biofilms, which are viruses and bacteria and parasites, just the little yucky stuff live in these biofilms. These homes that they build in your body. They start to control you after a while. You need to go back and start controlling them. And one thing that helped me out, like, like big time, I'm going to tell you, beetroot powder. For some reason, the beetroot powder, the chemicals inside the beetroot powder, they be like, oh, man, the beets are sweet. You don't need that sugar. But you want to know something I find out? That when you consume the beet stuff, and you got to do everything in moderation. See that sugar go up in that candida and it kills that candida from the inside out. So that's another fact about the beast that they don't tell you about. You know, 
And also, certain things in the beats, beats destroys the biofilms. That exposes the yucky things in your body. Then the other supplements you take or whatever medicine you get from the doctor can kill off those things because now they're exposed. Anyways, perfect balance, past, present, and future. Keep moving. Keep moving. Peace.